Hello, hope you're all doing well. As you can see I'm back at this camp that I built a couple of weeks ago. It was a tarp shelter but um, I'm changing things up a bit with a natural roof and I'm giving it walls as well. So I've uh, taken down the wall supports that were there. I'm leaving up the centre ridge and uh, well uh, yeah get some logs like on the back on the sides and uh, stick a bit of a natural roof on it. Hopefully there's enough materials around for that. And we should have ourselves something nice to spend the night in. I'll say something, these chestnut logs weigh a ton. <laughs> Only another seven or so to go.
This is hard work. <laughs> it's so hot. I think it's going to be 26, 27 today, I was saying. Which a lot of you are going to say, that's not hot. <laughs> it's when you're doing this. <laughs> Boiling. It's pretty um, humid too in here. <sighs> but I've got my walls up. They're a little higgledy pickledy, but they seem solid enough for the roof I'm putting on, which is just kind of debris, really. So I'm just cutting them to length and then I'll uh, start stacking them on top and then uh, cover them in uh, sort of debris, the leaves. There's a lot of bracken here so I'll probably go over it in bracken once I put some leaves on as well. But uh, starting to take shape. Now that took a lot longer than I expected. I thought the uh, logs would uh, be the thing that was time consuming, but finding the straight dead wood took ages. <laughs> so both sides now are done. That's the structure of the roof, more or less, if you want to call it that. Remembering this is just like a, a one day build and stay rather than like a permanent shelter. Um, next step, I'm going to take my uh, log carrier and go find some of this bracken that's around the place and stick that on the roof before putting leaves on the roof. That's just going to catch any that would fall through the um, sticks that are on there. Well, I would have liked more time to get more of this, but uh, as you can probably notice, the sun's gone down behind the trees now. This has taken longer than I thought, so I'm just going to go with the debris. Okay, that wasn't too bad. 
and another hundred of them. I think uh, one side's going to have to do for tonight. Ooh, a lot of work, a lot of gathering, cutting, etc. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that would need more, but you know, it's not going to be raining. I can see the sun setting through the trees now properly. So it's time to sort out the fireplace and all of that. One good thing about all this work and all this cutting down is I've got an absolute ton of firewood. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have to axe any tonight. Great, because <laughs> as you can probably tell, I'm knackered. Oh, I'm going to have to sit down for a minute, rehydrate. I can feel a headache coming on even though I've had two and a half litres of water. I brought a lot with me. Well, I'm going to go simple with a fire lighter because I'm tired. I don't want to prep any uh, tinder. And I always have these in the pack. Better safe than sorry. Off oh, times like this when you just want to get a fire lit to get some dinner on. It's actually starting to cool down a little bit now, but I'm still fairly warm. Well, I did it. <laughs> I finished off the other side of the roof. I couldn't leave it like that. I just couldn't. But it's uh, all done on both sides now and quite cosy. I prefer it to the tarp shelter I did before here. So yeah, a good little one day build. The fire is burning down to coals now. Really need to get going cooking because it's going to take a couple of hours what I've got tonight. Um, sleep system's out. I will inflate a mat to go on that um, canvas tarp as well. But, uh, yeah, get dinner on and have a rest. <laughs> okay, so I'm cooking in the Dutch oven today. I'm just going to 
Put a bit of oil in the bottom there. And then line the bottom with some onion. On top of the onion, I'm going to put some sliced potatoes. I knew I'd be busy, I prepared these before I came out. Got some sliced garlic here to sprinkle in. And the main event is beef ribs. I've got two there and I've cut up another one to go in there too because they wouldn't fit in all together. Got a small riocca and some of my homemade stock. Some salt, I'm just going to chuck in. Some pepper. Might put in a couple of chilli flakes, a little paprika, and why not some mixed herbs as well. I'm using the TGM Metalworks fire anchor here. It's a lot of weight for it, but it's holding it. It's holding it good. Get some of these coals on top, start it warming through. Alright, cheers everybody. Time for a chill. Time for a little check up. Not looking bad at all. A little while yet. Dinner's bubbling away nicely. I'm already thinking about breakfast. <laughs> Got a savoury porridge. Don't know if anyone's had that before. I've had it a few over the last couple of years, a few times. I really like it. Some bacon and a, an egg in there as well. Lovely. But yeah, let's do all this first. I'm just reducing that liquid down a bit because I think I put a little bit too much in. But uh, the meat's looking good. Pulling back on the bone. <sighs> Hungry. <laughs> quite looking forward to sleeping in this shelter actually. I'm quite happy with it. Um, I was going to put just the um, wall on the front back up, but uh, never did. But uh, it's totally fine. I've got the acorns and the hazelnuts dropping off the trees now and again in the woods. And you just hear it. It perks your ears. <laughs> if you didn't know what it was, I'm sure it would uh, freak you out a bit. But yeah, just the odd one falling knocking on the branches on the way down. Time for those ribs. <laughs> and some potatoes and onions. Rude not to. And some of that gravy. Looks like a lot of food and that's because it is a lot of food. <laughs> 
but I am hungry now. Well, I'm kind of hoping this is pretty much full off the bone. Nice. Juicy. That looks lovely. Oh my word, that's good. I was originally going to smoke these, but I'm quite glad that I did this. That is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Still got a little bit of bite, but it still kind of melts in your mouth. Love it. I've only had two ribs. There's one still in the pot. I think I'll save that for tomorrow. <laughs> Apparently I didn't bring my mat today. Don't know how I missed that. So it's just this uh, canvas and blanket on the floor and uh, stuff sack pillow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, I'd like to say that I slept like a log, but it was more like sleeping on a log. Uh, quite hard on the floor. I've not done that in some time, actually, but uh, yeah, I got a couple of hours. I did get to bed quite late, to be honest. Um, I liked the roof, looking up at the roof in there for a little one-day build. It's quite nice. Um, would need, if it was going to be raining, um, you'd need another foot or two of of leaf litter on top there but uh, yeah it's good. A little chilly this morning, had my thermal top on when I got up to light the fire but I'm warming through now, it's probably warming up as well. But I wanted to get up early before it got hot again, it's meant to be hotter today, do my breakfast. 
going to be using the fire anchor again as it's all set up and ready in place and just my little billy can I'm going to start off with a bit of oil in here seems to be quite hot already I've moved it off the direct heat because I could see it was getting quite hot but uh, got some mushrooms and onions here and some diced up bacon put that back over the heat a bit nice so with them bits cooked down I've got a stock cube so just roughly break up some oats should probably do so no. why not and some water Quick stir. This time I'm going to put it back on the heat with the lid on. Right, I'm just going to add in an egg, probably enough for two here <laughs> and why not add in a little parsley go we find out how it is Ooh. actually looks pretty good oh yeah look at that Ooh, that's come out perfect mushrooms bacon onion egg could have put some spinach in there that would have been nice Wow, so much flavour. Glad I didn't add any extra salt on top of what was in the stock. But yes, this will do nicely. Thanks guys for watching, hope you found that uh, enjoyable, shelter was good, I liked it, a lot of work, but then I could have got here a bit earlier, <laughs> underestimated it, um, yeah so that's it for today, 
and uh, I'll see you next week. Goodbye for now.